We've come to speak to uh, year one psychology students at the University of Hertfordshire to explain what the career in education psychology involves and to give them some ideas about what they can be getting into at this stage of their career if they're thinking of looking at it in the long term as an option. Today was an opportunity for our service to deliver a bit of an overview of what the service does and how we uh, impact on positive outcomes for children in Hertfordshire. Mm. I think psychology is one of these degrees you come into when you're not quite sure sometimes what you want to do mm. and I think maybe in your first year that's where you really start to think about where do I want to go, what experiences do I want to get. It's made me feel that passion again mm. uh, for my profession and the role that I do. Well actually, do you know what, we wouldn't be in any other profession. And seeing our educational psychologists in action and what they do on a day-to-day -day basis is really helpful for our students to understand what's going on and how it works. Realising how much responsibility um, educational psychologists have in the community and especially in the schools, as a parent, it's fantastic. The role of an educational psychologist is the, the combination of the assessment and the intervention. So you really are looking at a hypothesis of why a child um, isn't learning as well as they should or why they're functioning the way they are and then looking for the solutions in terms of how you can overcome those barriers and how, can, how you can support the child or young person in uh, meeting their needs and actually making a success of their lives. We are a, a, an external service to refer to. Um, to provide support and advice. I think that's important that people understand and, and see that uh, we as professionals are listening to, to what they have to say, absorbing and understanding information, um, but also then providing strategies and interventions that, that can support these families to, for, for their children to access education. Listen very carefully to what's going on, consider everybody's views, and I think importantly keep the child in the centre building a positive relationship with other educational psychologists as well as other psychology assistants and having those good relationships with teachers and families and the child or young person you're working with. In fact we're peripatetic so we, we work from you know from place to place we're not always office based nine to five I think that's one of the real um, you know, perks of the role is we're meeting parents, teachers, um, you know, different different professional staff, our own colleagues, you know, different young people within completely different settings on a daily basis. And that variety to me is one of the key sort of drivers in, in why I get up in the morning to and with a smile on my face with, with the job that I do. Anybody within our structure where they've got an idea, they've got an innovation that actually they feel more than able to talk about that and progress it where we can see it's going to make a difference and a positive difference to our staff or to the children or the families at the centre of all of our activity. It's nice to feel that we're making an in incremental difference, you know, to the lives of, of children, young people that are born into circumstances, you know, through no fault of their own, that um, is a struggle from day one. Working one-to-one -one with young people and children, that's really what's most faith for me to go into educational psychology. 